You know, one thing that I realized with TikTok is that you don't need to be um, someone famous. You don't need to be rich. You just need to be you, to be yourself, and everything will follow. We are the A new phenomenon has taken the social media world by storm. They are the unlikely influencers of the UAE. So, Renz, what made you start? How did you get into this? So, I'm going to tell you, you how. Yeah, I'm going to tell you how I started doing TikTok. So, I'm not really a TikTok person before. So, there was just this one day that my um, colleague filmed me, uh, me dancing in the store, and then I didn't know that she was going to upload it. So, then the next day it went viral. So. Then I receive a lot of positive comments and um, a lot of people are, are telling me that I should be doing more because um, I'm good at it. So that's where I started doing um, more videos. And then later on, um, most of my fans are asking for like toy unboxing videos since I work for a toy shop um, in Dubai Mall, it's Hamleys. So then, yeah, I incorporated um, different um, contents like toy unboxing videos and like um, stories and also uh, more on dancing too. And I think that your, your employer, Hamleys, is delighted that you're doing this, right? Yeah, they were happy about it because like um, I am bringing extra customers and also people are buying because they saw it on my TikTok account. So they're happy and I'm also happy with it. Yeah, so that's real influencing born out of you just enjoying your job, liking your environment and being into it, right? Yeah. It's very different, Ash, than, uh, than, than some of the people that we see who do it for pure mercenary reason. Well, exactly. But I think for most of that kind of stuff, you can see through it, right? So there's a lot of that going on in Dubai where, I mean, Instagram is a great tool and people are using, like, um, companies are using it to advertise whatever they have to sell. But it's very see-through when people are just doing it for the money now or for the free stuff, you know? And so, like, people like Renzi, who are just out there because they love dancing and they're doing these amazing choreographed, I mean, I don't know how you do it, <laughs> like, like just choreographed dances in front of some toys in the background and it goes viral because I guess it's obvious that they just love what they're doing. But Renzi, of course, is, is not the only one. I mean, I know that when you're researching, um, you, can you tell us about some other people that you found as well? So there's actually a whole other world out there. I mean, I don't know how to use TikTok, so I'm kind of a technophobe. But yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like when you're looking through these accounts, just more, you just see more and more and more. So there's, I mean, I also spoke to this man who, he's a mechanic out in Sharjah, um, and he's got something like 60,000 followers or something ridiculous. Mm -hmm. He barely speaks English. He lives in his mechanic workshop with six other people in this tiny little room. But every day he's just out there like, T uh, videoing his job and yeah. just showing what he's doing, like throwing tires around and fixing trucks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he gets, he, he goes viral all yeah. the time. People love it. Yeah, and he's hardly Kim Kardashian. No, exactly. <laughs> but there's this niche that he's captured somehow yeah. and he's made it work. And he now all he does is he goes out and tries to find people to help. So he's buying shoes for homeless people. He's finding people with skin conditions that need hospital treatment that can't afford it and he's highlighting these people and his followers then offer to pay for stuff for these people that need help. Social media used wisely as a tool to affect social change right? Yeah. That's where we're that's where we're getting to. And, exactly. And you know it, isn't it nice and heartwarming to see something that could be so commercial and so mercenary used as a as a force for good? Yeah. And, and not, it, just, uh, not just attention-seeking, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as sad as it sounds, but that's what it has become here. And the word influencer has taken on such a negative connotation for that reason. But then you kind of forget that there are other people that are really influential. Yeah. What would you say then, Renzi, if you were to give some words of advice to young people, and it is young people, mm -hmm. I'm not on TikTok, I don't <laughs> dance. Not very well anyway, not, not publicly. Um, what would be your advice to, uh, to young people who may wish to sort of venture into the world of TikTok? You know, one thing that I realized with TikTok is that you don't need to be um, someone famous. You don't need to be rich. You just need to be you, to be yourself, and everything will follow. So you just have to love what you're doing, and you can make people happy with that one. And never be, uh, never let the social pressure take over you because that's where you lose yourself. So just be you and everything will follow. Thank you ever so much, Ash, and thank you, Renzi, you're an absolute superstar. This Thank is UAE you. TV.